Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. The House of Representatives is no longer keen on inviting President Muhammad Buhari to address it on the security challenge in the country. The nation gathered authoritatively on Saturday. The House leadership, according to sources, found that the initial invitation has had assumed ethnic and political dimension. It was also learned that some of the lawmakers behind the motion to invite Buhari had apologized to the presidency. They claimed that the motion was not intended to embarrass the president, contrary to insinuations in some quarters. Some members had sponsored a motion to seek the urgent intervention of the presidency following the recent killing of 48 farmers in Zabamari, Borno State. Those who demanded action were Honorable Ahmed Satomi, Honorable Mohammed Tahir Monguno, Honorable Malam Bukar Ghana, Honorable Haruna Shela, Honorable Amadu Usman Jaha, Honorable Ibrahim Mohammed Bukar, Honorable Usman Zana, and Honorable Abdukadu Rahis. What Amadu Usman Jaha said. The prayer to invite the president was omitted from the motion read on their behalf by Ahmed Satomi. The motion to invite President Buhari was later adopted by the House, leading to a follow-up audience with the president by its leadership. Although the president initially agreed to appear before the National Assembly. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami San, said the House lacked the power to summon the president. The Senate leadership also sharply disagreed with the House and rejected moves to ask the president to address a joint session of the National Assembly. Despite the legal opinion of the Attorney General of the Federation and political stand of the Senate, the Presidency has not been forthcoming on what becomes of the invitation of the President. Findings, according to the Nation, however, reveal that the House decided to foreclose the invitation following what a source described as the body language of the presidency. The source said, apart from disagreement between the two chambers, the invitation assumed ethnic and political dimensions in the House. Some of those behind the motion were shocked at the political coloration given to it. The House leadership was alleged to have a hidden agenda on the motion with a view to undermining President Buhari. It was learned that the invitation was almost sliding into a north-south divide, especially over security reports that the opposition leaders wanted to use the invitation to embarrass Buhari. A principal officer said 
The House of Representatives has foreclosed or dropped any immediate or future plans to invite President Muhammad Buhari over insecurity in the country because a harmless motion has become political. I can tell you that we will no longer revisit the invitation, but we will be interacting with service chiefs and other ministers in charge of the nation's security. The opposition People's Democratic Party and its lawmakers capitalized on the motion to cast aspersions on the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. What we never intended became the issue. Some governors and strategists in government insinuated that the House leadership was working for a different political interest. That was why they pulled the strings from the Senate. At a point, the row, between, the row over the invitation was turned into a north-south divide, if not for the political dexterity of the House leadership. We also got intelligence that some of those lawmakers who sponsored the motion because of Zabamari rice farmers went through the back door to the presidency to apologize over their insistence that the presidency must appear before the National Assembly. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Wonders shall never end. What are your thoughts? The same House of Rep who were elected to do a job from the look of things seems to be the ones who are timid, scared, and not interested in doing the job that they were elected to do. I'd like to know what else could have been the reason why they refused to do the job that they were elected to do, if not for fear and their political interest and their pockets? And according to, they have gone to apologize to the presidency. So you guys, you can see that Nigeria, if not finished, is heading towards, you know, comatose, as it were. The presidency, president that was invited to address the House of Reps refused or turned down the invitation. Now the same Reps who invited him are shunning uh, what should have been and, uh, a follow-up invitation or demand for explanation why the president decided not to honor the invitation. They are also apologizing to the presidency. Does this really make sense? So you can see what happens to the souls of the, the, the souls of those who died on that rice farm. After that, we had the Kankara situation. What happened? How could they have apologized to? the president. It shows that these people who have been elected into the House of Representatives do not rate Nigerian citizens at all. They have no regards for Nigerians. And this is not good in any way at all at all. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong, but this isn't right and shouldn't be at all. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold. Please drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones. 
so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support.